What a pleasure to be in front of 14,000 of my closest friends. Good morning, everybody. So this is awesome, a standing ovation before 10 a.m. How many of you love to sell? And I think it's more true today is that we don't actually sell technology, we sell change. She was named one of the 50 most influential marketeers on the planet, right? Not male or female, all of them on the planet. As many companies focus on being the biggest versus being the best at consistent growth. This is a game about consistently growing quarter after quarter, year after year. Growing your customer base, solving big, hairy, audacious problems for them. The challenge and the reality is if you hit a growth stall, if you hit a growth stall, it can take two to four years for a company to figure out how to create new growth and execute at scale. So this really starts down this path of Growth IQ. Today, from a number of executives, the speed in which innovation is happening is going to increase. The challenge I see with that is we all have to keep up with that pace of innovation. You have to remember that we're all consumers, your customers are consumers, their expectation of what they need from you, even though they understand the experience, they don't necessarily know how to get from point A to point B. Once they tell your story to other people that look like them and look like your target customer, it's this flywheel effect. It's really important to keep the customer at the center, but sometimes what companies think they're actually doing and what the customer actually thinks they're doing are two very different things. And that's what I hoped to bring to the forefront was an opportunity for people to take a pause, step back, and be much more intentional about the decisions that they make about growth. So if you think about what companies now need to do in order to be successful, I like to say that customer experience is this new battleground. Because at the end of the day, consumers expect this personalized experience. So CEOs are saying, we've got to be better with our service mm -hmm. in order to differentiate from the competitors. We're all consumers in our personal life. And then when we show up to work, we have this expectation that if I can get this in my personal life, I absolutely should be able to get more and better in my business life. Right now, everyone needs to just step back and reframe how they think about growth. Yep that what got us here may not get us there. And I right. know that's a cliche statement, but right now with the change in the way customers want to buy, who you're competing against is very different than the way it used to be. The available channels for you to sell through and market through are exploding. And so you just have to say, am I looking at it the right way? So it's really about thinking differently about growth versus doing things differently. I think those are two very different things. You grow the value of existing customers, they buy more, they want more. Your average selling price goes up, the cost per seat goes up. They want to get more things from you. More importantly, they trust you more. I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Boba in the house.